Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. Winter is here in Forza Horizon 4, bringing with it a brand new festival players, which means we're going to slip and slide our way through this week's awesome challenges, Swords to Plowshares. There's all important 200 awesome points and the much needed percent for the festival playlist. Now, I'm going to set myself a goal to hit 15,000 subscribers by the end of March. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Let's go complete this week's Forza Fun challenges. Now, this wouldn't be a weekly Forza Lawn Challenge video if I didn't ask if you had Lake Lodge. So, do you have Lake Lodge? If not, why not? It would double all Forza Lawn points for all Forza Lawn activities. Daily Forza Lawn Challenges, weekly Forza Lawn Challenges, and Forza Lawn Lives every hour on the hour. Now, this house can be quite expensive at 5 million credits, or it's free if you have the VIP pass. Now, for this week's Forza Lawn Challenges, we had the pleasure of using any van and utility. You can use any that you like. I've gone ahead and picked three the ford ute the gmc cyclone and the holden sandman if you'd like to use any of my tunes shown in today's video just search my game tag skippy4631 or the file name skippy youtube share codes for all tunes are in the description below now as always we will be checking out the force on shop the horizon backstage vote and this week's super seven reward at the end of the video but first we're going to complete this week's force on challenges swords to plowshares chapter one gyre horse own and drive any van and utility vehicle. Own and drive exactly as it says, jump in any van or utility, hop outside your festival house or castle, drive two seconds down the road, Shire Horse completed. So with chapter one, Shire Horse completed, only driving any van and utility, it's on to chapter two, Salt of the Earth. Run a half marathon in your van and utility vehicle, that's a distance of 13.1 miles. Now, as always, with the weekly force on distance challenges, they can be completed in the free roam map. They can even be completed whilst doing races, earning credits and influence along the way, which means I'm hopping into the road racing series and I'm heading on down to Broadway Village Circuit, where I have created a blueprint called 13.1 Mile Drive Chapter 2. Vans and utilities only, 13.9 miles long, slightly longer than what we need to make sure you get this challenge done. Just search my gamertag skippy4631 or use the share code. 105-741-986. Now, as always, races for the weekly Force on Challenges, driver to difficulty does not matter, so I'm going new racer. Now, there's no reason to win this race, but winning is fun, and there's no reason to make it any harder than it needs to be. Here we go then, 13.1 miles. Now, you should complete this around the 90%, 95% mark. So all we've got to do, get to the finish line, chapter complete. As we approach the 50% mark of this race, I want to give a massive shout out to all channel members. Kevin, Zeta, Justin, David, Dragon, Aaron, Carlton, Assumed, Easy, Owen and James. Thank you all so much for going that extra mile to support the channel. As we approach the 88% mark of this race, we achieve the 13.1 mile distance needed to complete Chapter 2, Salt of the Earth. And after completing Chapter 2, Salt of the Earth, driving a total distance of 13.1 miles, it's on to Chapter 3, Hustle and Bustle. Things to do, places to be, weave your way through traffic to earn 5 Thread and the Needle skills with a van and utility vehicle. Once again, this chapter can be done absolutely anywhere on the map. You do need traffic to get it completed though. Best place to go is the motorway. Next thing you want to do for this chapter is head on into your pause menu, slide on over to Horizon Life and head into Horizon Solo. This generates more traffic and makes it easier to get those threading the needle skills. Here we go then, five threading the needle skills. All you have to do is pass between two AI cars. Now there's not much skill in this, it's more about luck, more about getting two driver tires near each other without hitting them. That's the important thing. Do this as cleanly as possible and you'll soon earn five threading the needle skills. As we pass between our last two driver tires, earning our fifth and final thread in the needle skill, that's Hustle and Bustle completed. With chapter three, Hustle and Bustle completed, earning five thread in the needle skills, it's on to our fourth and final chapter, Eager Beaver. Deliver a spectacle and land a three star jump at the rail yard ramp danger sign with a vans and utility vehicle. Now, this is where my GMC Cyclone and my Holden Sandman come into play. I'm going to be using the Holden Sandman first, and then I'll do it in the GMC Cyclone. 
The rail yard ramp danger sign is located in the north at the express rail yard. We're looking for 700 feet for that three star objective. It is also this week's PR stunt danger sign at 774.3 feet. But if you're lucky, you can complete both at the same time. Right then, danger sign dead ahead. We're starting just the other side of the train tracks and all we're gonna do is floor it towards that danger sign. Now you can clear some of the debris to make things slightly easier. I don't just because I'm a little bit lazy, but this is going to absolutely floor it. Need about 150 going off the ramp. That was 140. Hopefully we'll get 700. Brakes on for the landing. 729.2 feet. Hard on the brakes so you don't hit the train car. Season objective not completed, but that is Chapter 4, Eager Beaver completed. Now we're going to go ahead and do it in the Cyclone. The panel van is auto show exclusive. The Cyclone is festival place exclusive. Now I know not everyone owns the Cyclone. That's why we did it in the panel van. But exactly the same as before. Starting just the other side of the train tracks. And let the Cyclone rip. We're looking for about 140 to 150. Going off the ramp. 143. Again, hard on the brakes. So you stop and don't hit the train car. Hopefully we won't. 759.03. That's three stars and 15 feet shy of our seasonal objective. So with two options to complete chapter four, Eager Beaver, we hit our 700 foot three star target at the rail yard ramp, completing this week's Forzathon challenges, Swords to Plowshares. Let's go ahead and take a look at this week's Forzathon shop. Now this is exactly what we want to see in the Forzathon shop. Two Festival Playlist exclusive cars. The first car for grabs, the 1988 Mitsubishi Starion ESIR, 600 of Forzathon points. Second car of grabs, the fantastic 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante, 350 four-star points. We've got gloves in the clothing this week, red biker gloves and pink biker gloves, 75 four-star points for each of those. And as always, if you're feeling lucky and got some spare four-star points, knocking around, grab yourself a normal wheel spin for 40 four-star points, or nab yourself a super duper wheel spin for 150 four-star points. Now this week, I think you can all agree it's pretty much a no-brainer. Both cars are Festival Players exclusive. The Mitsubishi Starion, 600 at Forston Points. That is rather expensive for that car, but definitely be picking it up if you don't own it already. But the Lamborghini Huracan, a Purple Monte, 350 Forston Points. That is seriously cheap. Definitely be picking that car up this week. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this week's Horizon Backstage Vote. Now the Horizon Backstage is located just across from the festival site. It can be accessed from free roam or you can hop into your pause menu, slide on over to the cars tab and enter Horizon Backstage from there. Last week's Horizon Backstage vote had the Buick GSX up against the Chevrolet Impala and the Buick GSX won the vote and is now available for purchase in Horizon Backstage. This week's vote however has two very different cars, the MC12 Corsa from Maserati and the Cadillac Escalade. Again, as with the Forza Shop, I think this is a no-brainer. We've got to be voting for that MC12 Corsa. This thing is up there with the 599XXE and the Moser MT900S. And let's go ahead and check out this week's Super 7 reward. Horizon Super 7 is one of Forza Horizon 4's newest features. By completing all seven challenge cards, you'll get a cheeky reward. And this week, it's the Lamborghini Benino. 4.5 million credits at the Auto Show for this car. So well worth completing the seven challenge cards Get your hands on a Lamborghini Venino for free. And there we go. That's this week's Forza Thon Challenges. This week's Horizon Backstage, the Forza Thon Shop and the Super 7 Reward. 200 Forza Thon points in the bank and 15% towards our winter season. If you have any questions about this week's Forza Thon Challenges, Swords to Plowshares, hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out with someone here on the channel, Will. As I say, definitely consider subscribing. We are trying to reach 15,000 subscribers by the end of March. We'll also be completing the rest of the festival playlist here live on the channel in the next couple of days. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and have an awesome day.